Hey guys, my name is John Dan Dan and welcome to this video. This one goes out to all my music production friends and I'm going to be showing you guys three Ableton hacks and why this knob controller might be the only MIDI controller you need. Let's get into it. So I've been producing music now for about 10 years and my experience with MIDI controllers are up and down. I get excited when a new controller comes along, but when I try to make it work with my workflow, I notice it just slows me down. The thing about it is I like to work fast, and when I get into the zone of producing and mixing music, 9 times out of 10 I just want to see it, touch it, and control it. So here's my Ableton hack number one. If you use the iPad as a second monitor with Duet Display, move any plugin to the iPad and you have instant mapping to anything you touch. The way it works is that the knob can control anything the mouse hovers over. The knob has a vintage look and feel to it. And what's great about the iPad and knob combination is that you don't have to manually set anything beforehand. You see a plugin parameter you want to control and it's instantly mapped. This works for any plugin that you have and any DAW. Ableton hack number two. All right, so the other way I like to use the knob is by sending MIDI messages through hotkeys. If I press period on my keyboard, I can control modulation, which is CC1. If I press comma, I can control expression, which is MIDI CC11. So say if I pull up, let's say a piano, I can have instant control over the modulation just by pressing this. Expression. Reverb, volume. Just with the stream deck and knob control. Let's go ahead and pull up another one of my favorite synths, Juno 106. Let's say that was a bit too loud, I can just control it here. Roll and cut off. Now this is probably my favorite thing to do with the knob control. If you guys mini map the clip gain, check this out. Instant access. You can really dial in a sound super, super fast. Okay, let's say we wanted to turn up just this part. Check that out. And turn this down super fast. Ableton hack three. Control any selected volume and pan with the knob control through MIDI by creating custom MIDI scripts with Remotify. Select a track, the knob can control whatever volume and pan you want. There you go, volume and pan just by selecting a track here's a bonus tip for you guys map any parameter with keyboard maestro say that we're editing our midi a lot of these parameters aren't mappable like for example for some reason we just cannot map legato to a keystroke or a midi message but you actually can with keyboard maestro mouse location. Let me show you really quickly. So all I have to do is highlight this. And if I want, if I want it to be legato, I have it right here, mapped right there. All it is, is just a mouse location. So again, I want this to be legato and there it is right here. You know, as much as possible, Producers, us producers, we want to get away from the mouse. That's how we actually get faster. With the same same thing, I want to open up envelopes. I see it. There we go. I want to go back to the MIDI notes. I press this. Now, if I want to see expression, and then edit the expression that way, 
edit modulation, edit the pedal, go back to notes. That's the fold MIDI and then unfold. Well, all right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.